Hello, how's it going today? I appreciate you checking out my channel. Thanks for tuning in. And today I have a simple project. Um, it's one that I've been waiting on doing for a long time or debating on doing for a long time. But uh, it was just almost too simple to, to do. But I'm glad that I actually took the time to finally do it because I think some people might find this um, interesting or informational, but some of you, it might be a little bit uh, too easy. But what we have here is a human powered manual crank uh, phone device charger or really anything you want to charge that uses a typical USB cord. I have my fancy little pink USB cord I borrowed from my wife that uh, auto worked great for the video for those of you that like pink. Here we go. But anyway, so what we have here is two different ways that we can charge any kind of 12 volt powered device. So this is like the same thing you would use in your car to charge your phone. So it's just a cigarette lighter adapter that you can plug into a cigarette lighter and charge your phone. So this is just a three way splitter. See this usually plugs into a car into the 12 volt power outlet. So that's all this is. This is nothing but a three-way bridge rectifier. So it, it takes three-phase power in and it outputs single-phase DC. Um, well, not single-phase, it's direct current. It's not a phase at all. But either way, it's just a three-phase bridge rectifier. This is just a tiny capacitor to kind of help smooth it out. But this thing's so small, it really doesn't do a whole lot. But all we do is take the three-phase power and then convert it to DC and then go through a little capacitor and then go straight to where you would typically plug it into your car. So there's no voltage controller on here. There's nothing like that. This is just bare minimum, the exact least amount you have to have to be able to power up and charge a device. And if you look here, and I will barely crank it, and you can see those light up. So that's pretty neat. That's the three phase motor, which actually works much better than this motor. This is a DC motor, a high voltage DC motor out of a treadmill, and it actually has a flywheel on it. And all I've done here is put some bearings and a crank. Whereas the three phase motor, I direct drive it. So I just put a, a, a crank directly onto the motor shaft because it doesn't require near as many RPMs. But those motors are actually very easy to find, but just in case somebody cannot find a motor like that, this kind of motor should be able to be found very easy. Um, people throw away treadmills all the time. If you're on the internet, you can find where people put them on the side of the road and you can go pick them up. And these are really cool motors. So these are direct DC output motors. So all they do is you put DC in or you get DC out. So what I can do here is I can put Instead of using the bridge rectifier, we don't need it. So I could go directly to here, but I'll just go to right here, which goes to the same place. And you can see when I crank this, it will also light up the charger. But it requires a lot more RPMs and you have to crank it a lot faster, but it will work. So. That's a, that's a plus. You don't get as much amperage, but it will, it will charge something as well. Now, what's something that's interesting, just to show you that, I mean, this is a completely closed system. I don't have any kind of power into this at all. This is all human powered, but you can see if I put the positive and the negative to here where the output of the, of the rectifier is, if I turn that motor, it will actually power this motor, and you can get a grasp of, of what kind of power comes out of that, that base motor. So I'll show you. That's pretty cool. So these three phase motors, this is a ECM 3.0 one horsepower 
HVAC motor. It's a three-phase brushless motor that they put inside of HVAC units to be more efficient and to have very little speed. I have some other videos on them in my channel and I also have a video showing you how you can get these motors dirt cheap and they are very readily available at your local scrapyard. Um, you just gotta find a scrapyard that will sell you something that they have, which I've found difficult here in Florida, but in Georgia I didn't have a problem at all. But anyway, the, the three-phase setup is definitely a lot, a lot better, but you can still do it this way. It just requires a little bit more work because Honestly, if I put a hand crank on this motor, you would have to turn it so fast it would not, you wouldn't charge anything very long. But let me go ahead and show you this thing in action. So I will plug a USB cord into this guy. And we'll plug this in here. And you can charge three devices at once um, with this setup because I've got this little splitter on here, but you don't have to do that. You can just get a regular cigarette lighter and hook it directly to your rectifier and and just turn it at you know a variable a fairy a fairly you know constant rate and is it's better to use something that lights up so you can tell when it's getting powered like this is and this lights up as well and you just turn at a at a constant rate you don't need no voltage controller nothing like that and you will be able to charge your device in case of a power outage or if you're in another country where you don't have access to power. That's where I really think this might be useful. Um, and the main thing is, is that this will show you what motor you can use to do this fairly easy and um, the parts that you'll need. So I hope you find this interesting. So let me get something that I can charge uh, real quick. What am I gonna plug in? It looks like I don't get to use my fancy pink uh, cord here because it's a USB type C and I was going to use my phone but I'm using my phone to make the video so I can't really do that so so much for using that but I've got another little old phone right here and here's a typical micro USB cord that I will use to charge this phone I think this thing has been charged in years, so I don't even know what's going to happen. But actually, I'm going to spin this around. You can get a better view of the crank that I have on this one. And we'll put this here so you can see it. Wow, there it goes. I mean, look how easy this is to turn. And you literally, you know, that's all it takes. Just a slow little crank and you will charge up any device that you plug in there. Um, you can kind of tell if you've got lights like this, you can tell how bright the lights are so you know if you're going too fast or not fast enough. If it starts flickering, obviously, you know, you need to speed it up a little bit, but if it gets too bright, you know, you don't want to burn anything up because remember, you don't have voltage control on here. This is just the bare minimum to be able to charge something. So. That's very important to know is that, you know, without voltage control, you can burn something up, but this is doable. And that's, that's the main thing I wanted to show is that you don't have to have all these fancy parts to be able to effectively make a, you know, a small generator that in case of emergency, I'm actually kind of be glad that I've got this thing, you know, in case of a power outage or, you know, you don't have a generator or anything of that nature. I mean, this is such an easy setup. I felt like, you know, somebody would find this useful because it's literally motor, bridge rectifier, power out. That's it. Um, it's that simple. So, why are you not lit up? Oh, phone is charging. It's still charging. And, you know, yes, you got to sit here and crank it, but, you know, when it, when it comes to times get tough, you know, you never know, you might need something like this. And you can sit here and do this all day. I mean, this is not hard to do, it's not hard to turn. Um, it's really it's really fairly easy. Now you can rig up a bicycle or anything like that to this, to this motor and do the same thing where it's a little bit easier. 
uh, if you do something where you know you use your legs, obviously you could do it for a lot longer time, and it would work a lot better. But you could still sit here and and you can charge whatever you want. Whereas in a situation where you couldn't before, this could be handy. Like I said, these motors are readily available. Um, you can get them. They throw them away every single day. Um, HVAC guys throw them away because a lot of them don't even realize that they're three-phase brushless motors because if they did, they probably wouldn't scrap them. But they've got permanent magnets in them and they are very, very useful motors and I've got some videos on my channel, like I said. Um, but also, the only other thing I used to do this is I did solder all my connections, but I'm sure you can do it differently, but just you know use the wire nuts or whatever. And I literally hot glued this motor down. I tried to make it absolutely primitive as possible. Um, this is hot glued down. I mean, I hot glued everything down so you could see the connections real well, but that's not really necessary either. But it's just, it's just so simple. I literally just hot glued everything down and made my connections and bam. I mean, it, it, as soon as you start turning, it's charging. This could be a very handy device. So I hope you like this video. Um, thanks for tuning into the channel and if you like this kind of content, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe and I would appreciate that and thanks for watching.